stay attuned to the pain in our lives and the woundedness of our world, we begin to let the Holy Spirit work within us. And even from ashes, God can bring about compassion and new breath. What sorrows are weighing down your heart, bringing you ashes and tears? Take a moment to bring your sorrows to the foot of the cross. In being publicly marked with ashes, we acknowledge the damage we do to others and ourselves. And so we are called to repentance in this season of Lent, not only asking for forgiveness on our behalf, but for the church and the world. Lord, we confess our sins before you. We confess that we have fallen short of your glory and your intent for our lives. Open our eyes that we may see ourselves with clarity and truthfulness that we may have eyes to see all of that within us that is not pleasing to you. The movement from Ash Wednesday to Easter Sunday is one of ashes to oil, a symbol of healing and joy. In confessing our lack, we also proclaim that our God is one of wholeness. God pours out God's self so that we are never alone in this journey. Lord, we confess our need of you. We need your grace. We need your patience. We need your guidance. We cannot see beyond the moment. We cannot worship you as we ought. As we begin this solemn journey toward the cross, we call upon your mercy and your love for our salvation. Blessings, like God's love, are not one-way experiences. As you have been blessed with a mark of God's love, you are now called to go out from this place and bless others. May the God who created you create opportunities of serving others. May the Christ who teaches you teach you during Lent how to love all. And may the Holy Spirit be your companion along this Lenten journey.